Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 3rd, and for better or worse, it's Election Day. Folks, I'm asking you to exercise your political responsibility, your right, your duty to vote. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you vote today. This year was the first election for me that I actually did something I've never done before. I voted early. I'm what you would call an election purist. I believe in always voting on election day. But a couple of weeks ago, as I was going down Ridge Road, I saw that there was actually very few people in the cars at the town hall at the moment. So I jumped in there, found out I was only third in line. I was able to vote and get back out again. This election has been a very heated one. The campaign, I should say. And I sure hope the election itself isn't heated, but the campaign was very heated. It's a lot of hatred and animosity being shown on both sides. There are all sorts of people with very considered opinions about who the perfect candidate would be. And there are all sorts of people who are turning their hatred toward others who don't agree with them. I've always been of the belief that it is not the president nor the Congress that makes our country great. It is we, the people. We who are willing to work with one another and to support our elected representatives. Join me in prayer that our elected representatives remember what their primary duty is supposed to be, and that is to work for we, the people. Too many politicians, it seems, have gotten lost in working for themselves, and they have forgotten to do what they could for their constituents. They say they speak for us, and oftentimes that's not the case. Our country is only as strong as each and every one of us are willing to work with one another. Whatever happens today will happen. We have gone through contested presidencies in the past. We've gone through rejected presidencies in the past, and we've worked together. We've found ways to continue to make our country great, and I pray that we do that again. Set aside hatred, set aside bigotry, set aside animosity, and let's start working together again. Because whoever gets in office, either in the presidency or in congressional races or any other races, they're going to need our support, and we're going to need theirs. Let's work it together. God bless you this day and every day of your lives.